Yo, what's good, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to another Tyler Perry Sisters Review. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning family member, then you already know what it is and what it always will be. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell somebody to tell somebody all that good stuff if you choose to. If not, just sit back, relax while we get into this thing. Now, I told you guys that while the show is on hiatus, I'm going to still be putting out content around sisters and around, you know, other different topics as well. I'm going through my DMs and my emails and I'm reading, you know, certain questions and things of that nature. And those that I find interesting, I will be making a video for even if it's only been asked once. I just want to make sure I maintain um, engaging, you know, dialogue and conversation on my channel. So this was an email that was sent to me. And this person wanted to know, how did you feel about Karen backsliding with Zach um, when they had sex at her salon? Do you believe she was wrong? Um, and this is my response to that particular question. Um, honestly, I don't believe that Karen was right or wrong. I believe that she made a decision and her decision had consequences. And um, I am someone who doesn't personally believe that every decision we make is either right or wrong. I believe that certain decisions are just a decision. Now, if anything, I believe Karen wronged herself. And what I mean by that is having sex with Zach was, I understand it. But before I get to my understanding part, Zach is someone who we find out is not responsible when it comes to his body. And just giving one example, well, I'll give two examples. The first example was the Helena woman, his co-worker at the airport. And she was lying about being pregnant, but there was a possibility that she could have been pregnant because Zach had unprotected sex with her. And then we find out that Zach had unprotected sex with Heather, who at the time was a stripper who Zach had only been in her presence for five minutes. And then he proceeded to have sex with her. Unprotected sex at that. We know that he has also given Karen an STD. So the fact that, you know, that those little, you know, tidbits of of understanding lets me know or give me a glimpse into how irresponsible Zach has been when it comes to his sex life. So to have sex with that person, that's what I mean when I say that I feel that she wrongs herself. But at the same time, I understand what it's like to love someone, still be in love with them. But then attempt to persuade yourself that those feelings don't exist. And I will say this. Going back and rewatching season two um, of Sisters, I would say that Tyler Perry did a great job with leading up to the breaking of Karen. And by that, I mean, it was evident that she was going to have sex with Zach again. Like, I knew it. I just didn't know when it was going to happen. Now, I will say that she did respect Aaron's decision to remain celibate. But we were able to see that it was getting harder and harder for her to remain in that commitment. You know what I'm saying? Even though they were not in a committed relationship, she knew the commitment that he had with himself and God. And she was trying to do everything possible, you know, after the hotel situation. Um, you know, she was trying to do everything possible to honor that. Um, she liked Aaron and she also desired him sexually. But at the time, that was a step that Aaron wasn't willing to make. Now... I don't think I've ever shared this openly. If I did, I do not remember. But I don't remember sharing this openly. Those who know me on a personal, personal level, they know this information about myself. They know my story. Um, but I was celibate for like eight years. And I know there are some people like, man, ain't no way in hell. Oh, yeah, I surely was. I definitely was. And one thing I know for sure, God will keep you when you want to be kept and God will provide a way of escape when you are tempted beyond measure. Um, and those are just my personal spiritual beliefs. Um, and so during that time of celibacy, I had to be very intentional about how I entertained men and how I dealt with men because I knew me. I knew my triggers. I knew what turned me on. I knew what didn't take much. OK, because your girl was out here in these streets. All right. I'm just being honest. But um, I knew me. So I knew how I had to function. And as I was watching Karen, like I'm watching the episodes, you know, go on. And I'm like, OK, so this girl is sleeping with this man in her bed. I knew she was going to mess up. Aaron is fine. And with that body. Oh, my God. 
Karen was <laughs> Karen was playing with fire, and I knew it wouldn't be long before her ass got burned. Now, I do wish that Aaron would have functioned in wisdom. And this is what I mean when I say that. Any person who is functioning in celibacy, you have to act as if you are celibate. Sleeping in the bed with someone who you are sexually attracted to, someone that you desire, you're you're literally putting yourself in a position to fall. The fact that Karen was sleeping with Aaron, shirt off, body like whoa, waking up every morning with a heart on, your penis is probably hanging out your pants. What the hell was she supposed to do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how she lasted. Because I, I couldn't have done it. You have to know you. And, and Alicia ain't cut out for that. Allie, Nick, uh-uh. I know me. Baby, we would have got it on the first. It just would have happened. So the fact that Karen was able to abstain from not doing that, man, I give props to the girl. I really do. Now, the sexual energy between Karen and Aaron um, could have easily been cut with the knife. Karen craved him. She, she really did. Now, unlike Karen... I reached the three and a half year mark on my celibate journey. Then I met a man (sighs) and I messed up. (laughs) I messed up and I had to hit the restart button on my celibacy journey. Now the sexual energy between me and this man was absolutely wild. Okay. Now this might be too much information, but it was the best head of my life. Absolutely. Hands down. And I hate to even say this, but it was heavenly. I literally felt like I had a divine experience with this brother. Now, I did. Only reason why I'm bringing this part up because I did talk about this briefly on our sister's keeper with Erica Vane, and I was like, this dude would have had me looking for him in the daylight with a flashlight. And I am the type of person that I can't have anything control me. Like I can't. Not a person. Not a thing. Not a food. Nor a drink. Not a substance. Nothing. I do not like. When something controls me, I have to be in complete control at all times. And anything that can deviate me out of that place, I can't rock with you. Like, I legit cannot rock with you. This, I literally asked God to take away my memory of this man. I didn't want to know what he looked like. I didn't want to remember what his voice sounded like. I didn't want to even remember this brother's name. That's how deep it was. This... My experience with him, my experience with him was so out of this world. I could see myself like drifting and I was like I I I can't do that. I literally can't do that. Now God took everything away. I don't remember this brother's name. This man could be staring at me in my face right now and I wouldn't know that it was him. But God decided to leave me with the memory of this man. I said, "God, why would you do that?" Why would you do that to me? I Let me stop talking about it. Nothing should be that damn good, okay? Nothing walking this earth should be that damn good. But we're going to move on along. Now, back to Karen, back to Karen. Now, the day that Karen and Zach had sex, Aaron stopped by the salon because he wanted to talk to Karen about the possibility of them taking their relationship to the next level. And, of course, Karen was excited. Who wouldn't be? She has this gorgeous man in front of her, someone she wants to engage with in sex, and she hasn't been able to, and now there's a possibility. But before we could even get to that, damn it, Zach comes in, (laughs) and him and Karen gets into an argument in the back, and that transference of energy is happening. That sexual tension is thick between Zach and Karen. Then our good sis gave it up. I, You know what, I ain't even mad at her. I ain't even mad at her because I would have did the same thing. If I be completely honest, I would have done the same thing. So going back to the original question, do I think she was wrong? Not necessarily because neither her or Zach were in committed relationships. However, her decision to have sex with Zach, in fact, it hurt Aaron and it produced a child. Now, watching this scenario play out allowed me to see just how important honesty is when you are with someone who may have a different value when it comes to sex than you. You have to operate in complete honesty. And this is some of the things, I'm going to say one of the things I learned during my journey of celibacy. Um, I had to be completely honest with myself and then with the people who I was dealing with. I had to let them, there's no possibility Like, there is no possibility of sex. And I stood on that, 
and I had to move about my life as if that was my decision and everything that I did had to line up with the decision that I made in my life. So after I hit the restart button on my uh, celibate journey, I had another test. Another, I mean, this was like the biggest test of them all about three years later. And it was with the ex-boyfriend who I hadn't seen in about 10 years. Um, he came to the town that I was currently resigning in and I, I was nervous. I, I was a little bit concerned because I didn't know what would happen because he and I are extremely sexually compatible. We hung out all day. And then we ended up back at my house. And you know what I'm saying? And all we did was talk. And I felt so good knowing how far I had come. It felt so good uh, just to be in his presence and look at him in his eyes and just have conversation. It was the first time in my life that I genuinely felt great. I felt amazing. And I didn't even have sex. I felt amazing because I didn't have sex. And those are words I never thought I would utter. <laughs> I never thought I would utter those words when I say how far I have come. And maybe that'll be a story that I share later on um, about just some things about me. Because when I watch sisters, there are a lot of things that are happening in sisters at this current moment that I have personally experienced. That I understand what it's like to lose friends when you choose yourself. I know what it's like to lose the people most closest to you. Because the environment that you're in and the connections that you have have turned toxic. I understand that. I know what it's like to lose multiple people at one time. People who you thought would be in your life forever. I know what it's like. I know what it's like to feel that. I know what it's like to be that person. I don't walk around with my heart on my sleeve. But if I love you, I love you. I'm loyal to you to a fault. I will take up for you. I will be there for you. All of that stuff. I would give you the the money on my account. I would give you the food in my house. I would give you the clothes off my back. I've just always been that person. But I'm not an overly sensitive person. I don't cry. You know, I'm not going to say I don't cry a lot. It takes a lot for me to get to that point. Um, I just don't weep for the sake of, oh, my God, I'm hurt. And that's just not Alicia. That's not me. So the things that I'm seeing happen, hap- the things I am seeing happening with the Karen character, I can relate to it. Even going back to this question about her being wrong, I think it was interesting, and this is no diss to the person who sent me this uh, this email, but I thought it was interesting how Zach was not mentioned. Why is it that Karen, why would I feel that she was wrong? She didn't have sex with herself. Zach came in there. There was a transference of energy happening, and then she begged him to leave because she understood what was about to happen. You know what it's like when you when it's difficult to say no to somebody. When it's difficult to deny your body when them hormones are raging and you have been without and you want some so bad and you know this person can take you there and make you feel how you want to be felt. So, I like I said, I just find it interesting that Zach name wasn't um, added to this particular question. This question. So, no, I do not feel that Karen was wrong in what she did. I think that Karen knew that she was um, making a huge mistake after it was over and, you know, the the euphoric feeling dissolves and you're left with reality and you realize that your decision, your decision has hurt someone, your decision probably have messed up something that could have been great. You know, you have those moments of solace when you, you know, just recollect on what you've done. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's punishing enough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you're alone with your thoughts and you have to think about the crazy shit you done did to somebody, that's punishing enough, or it should be to most of us who have a damn heart. You know what I'm saying? But um, I thank you for sending this question in because it may, I didn't mean to get, I didn't know I was going to get personal. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to get personal with this video. But um, I'm going to put something in my community page where uh, there are some people who've been asking me some questions based on some of the things that I have said on our sister's keeper, as well as in my own videos where I'm just going to be, I'm going to make a video and maybe a couple videos where I answer some, <laughs> some personal questions that people have sent. So I'm going to make a community page and I'll talk more about it. But if anybody have any questions just about me as an individual, me as a person, even if it involves sisters or whatever, I'm going to sort through them and make some videos about just getting to know me a little bit more intimately. But I thank you for sending this email. I greatly appreciate you. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for rocking with me and being uh, just holding me down. You feel me? I appreciate you. So until next time, I will holler at y'all later and y'all be safe out there. Yeah.